Just like the vernier calipers, the micrometer screw gauge is also another of the measuring instruments. And right there we are having a diagram, micrometer screw gauge. The parts of this diagram are what we call the anvil. Looking at it, the anvil is just right here. We have what we call the spindle. Here is what we call the spindle. Then we have the frame, which is that. We have the sleeve. The sleeve is right here. The sleeve is this portion. The thimble. The thimble is this, this thing that is rotating. The thimble. It has a scale. Thimbo is right here, the sleeve is right there, and they both have scales. The thimbo has a scale that is round it, then the thimbo. So when you when I rotate this, the thimbo slides slides all over the sleeve. Then we have what we call the ratchet. The ratchet is just this thing at the back. This is the ratchet. It's what I use when I want to measure something, for example. If I want to measure the diameter of this, I'm going to come and put it right in between there. Now, the use of this ratchet, I will put something right in front, in between there. But I am not sure whether this thing has been gripped so that I start taking my readings. I'm supposed to start taking my readings after making sure that this thing that I'm going to measure has been gripped. So what I do is that I will turn using my ratchet. Now the ratchet will start making that noise. Now that noise, that noise you've, hear, you've heard, it means that whatever I'm going, I've put here has been firmly gripped. So because it has been firmly gripped, then that's, that is when I can now begin to take the, the, the readings. So now we are going to look at how we take readings. When we are taking readings with a micrometer screw gauge, we are going to first look at the sleeve reading and then the thimble reading. And then after we add those two. So it is as simple as I'm going to show you. Here is an extraction. This is what we are calling the sleeve. This is the thimble. So the sleeve reading, then plus the thimble reading, and we get our final answer. So, if you look at this, we are having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5.5, 6, then 6.5. So it means our thimble reading is going to be 6 point. Our sleeve reading is going to be 6.5. That is sleeve. Our sleeve reading is 6.5. So what about our timber reading? So our timber reading is, is, is the, this longitudinal line. It is coinciding with that line in between. So this is the one we take. We take the reading, the line, the, 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 the point along the timber. The point we take for our reading is the point that coincides with the horizontal line on the sleeve. If you have to realize so closely, our sleeve has got a horizontal line in between. Now, as we keep turning this, that horizontal line keeps coinciding with several points along the thimble, the thimble. So, when we are taking the thimble reading, we take the reading of the line or the graduation on the thimble that is coinciding with the horizontal line on the sleeve. So in this case, this line is coinciding with that mark. So we read it. This is 25, this is 30, 31, 32, 33. So it's coinciding with the 33rd line. So it means our thimble reading is going to be uh, 0 0.33. And then when we add this, it's going to become 6.83 like that. It's going to be the same case here. This is going to be 5, 5.5, 5 6, 6.5, 6, 
7, 7.5, 8, 8.5. So meaning our sleeve reading is 8.5 millimeters. Now what about on our timber reading? Now on our timber reading, still this line here is what is coinciding with this longitudinal line. This line right here. And that line is 2021. It's a 21st. So it means our thim, uh, thimble, our thimble reading is going to be 0 0.21. When you add the two, you're going to, going to end up with 8.71 millimeters. And that's going to be our answer. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. For more videos, I encourage you to subscribe. This is Arnold Rangakuramia for Kisembo Academy.